spotting errors okay every everybody have problems everybody has problems okay in this which one is correct okay everybody has problem is correct okay observe everybody everybody is a third person singular okay everybody know the first person second person third person okay first person means i singular u is the plural Se second person u is the singular u is the plural okay this is the singular okay this is plural okay the third person means e she it means plural means they okay <clears throat> everybody has problems here everybody considered as a third person singular okay grammatically that's why suppose if you see any sentences each word ends with body one means everyone these words considered as a singular pronouns okay in this sentence everybody has problems is the correct one okay just observe anyone everybody everyone something whenever you observe these words in sentences you should take singular verb okay here everybody came that's why everybody had problems is correct okay next observe my office is in the first floor my office is is on the first floor which one correct means for the floors point of view floors means whenever see floor in the sentence you you use on preposition because for the floors concept on is correct suppose if you see basement in the sentence suppose is the basement okay basement at that time you can use in preposition means my office is in the in in the basement okay that is the correct one okay means for the floors point of view you can use on preposition in the basement point of view you can use in okay next uh, third one i prefer coffee than tea i prefer coffee to tea which one is correct okay prefer always goes with two preposition okay prefer to okay prefer to is correct one okay prefer than is wrong okay prefer to prefer means you like something or someone compared to other one okay just your english is more better than mine your english is better than mine here just observe the these two words more better better okay which one is correct this one is correct okay just which one is correct my english is better than mine okay just observe this more better means everybody know positive comparative superlative degrees okay everybody know positive comparative degrees superlative degrees okay for for positive degrees good will come means good better best much more most means here observe better more means two comparative degrees used in sentences incorrect you says okay grammatically it is wrong okay that's why don't use two comparative degrees together okay better more here just observe this that's why it is wrong okay your english is better than mine in some sentences we can use two comparative degrees also means in what manner cause and effect manner means example the more you practice english the better you speak just observe here 
comparative degree is more here better is the um, better is the comparative degree of good okay these two these two comparative words are come together in sentence okay this is the cause and effect okay in this situation only we can use two comparative degrees okay in the means side by side is is a side by side usage of comparative degrees together is wrong according to grammatical point of view next i am at home i am home means according to american english language both are correct okay i am at home i am home as per actually we are following britain english okay i am home is correct okay just observe the three sentences i am i am at home i am home i am in my home means just observe the three sentences i am at home suppose if you consider as a home as a special location special location means you can find out that location using geographical coordinates everybody know geo geographical coordinates latitudes longitudes okay using that location when you consider as a home as a home as a special location at that time you can use at preposition okay uh, i am home i am home means uh, suppose if you go outside with your friend and you reach your home safely after that okay uh, at that time you text your friend i safely reach to my home at that point of view you can use home i i am home okay next i am in my home okay i am in my home means when you consider home as a closed space okay closed space like this box okay uh, this is box suppose if i keep cap in this box how can, what i say mm, the cap is in the box it is the correct one okay i am in my home means uh, when you considered when you consider home as a closed box at that time you can use in preposition okay closed box means uh, it can be countable that's why you are using this determiner my okay these three sentences are correct according to um, your uh, considered point of view if you consider home as a special location at is the correct okay when you go out and come safe when you go out and uh, uh, come to home safely and when you text your friend i reached the home very safely at, at that point of view you can use um, i am home is the correct one okay i am in my home means uh, when you consider a home as a closed box okay at that time you can use i am in home generally in in language point of view we can use i am home i am in my home these two sentences are mostly correct we don't consider i am at home okay just you can use when you are communicating with others you can use i am home i am in my home like this okay next what is the time in our watch what is the time by your watch just observe okay this is the time okay time is an abstract concept abstract concept means that people can understand that has no physical form okay physical form okay generally time is displayed by watch it is watch the watch displayed the time that's why we can use the uh, we can use the preposition by this one is correct okay i congratulate you for your success i congratulate you on your success congratulation indicates some uh, to prize or congratulating someone for their achievement okay at that time we can use on preposition on indicates the um on indicates um one type of occasion okay generally you remember uh, whenever congratulate you come in sentence you can use on okay on preposition okay my birthday is on 
October, my birthday is in October. Means which one is correct? Everybody know preposition. These are basic rules. In, on, at. In is used for general, general point of view. Okay. On is used for more specific. At is used for very specific. General point of in is means years, decades. Okay, like this. Okay, on is used for. Okay, Gen uh, just uh, just observe these two these examples. My birthday is on October. My birthday is in October. Okay. Is in October. Means which one is correct? In is used for general. Okay. Just in general. This year. In general means my birthday is in October is correct one. Okay. In is preposition we can use. Suppose if a date will come. Um, my birthday is in October 10. My birthday is on October 10. If a date will come in sentences. Okay. We can use on prepositions. Okay. Um, suppose just observe this sentence. Lokamanya Tilak was born on 23rd July 1856 at Ratnagiri in Maharashtra. Means in Maharashtra. In Maharashtra means this is a general. He was born in Maharashtra. Okay. General point of view in. Okay. When you mention the date here. Okay. On 23rd. Okay. Lokamanya Tilak was born, born on 23rd July. Okay, its date come, you can use on preposition. Okay, very specific. In which place he was born? At Ratnagiri. Very, at Ratnagiri he was born. Okay, just you can say that. Very specific. Okay, next. When I was small, when I was young. Which one is correct? Um, grammatically, both are correct. As per uh, language point of view, you can use when I was young. Okay, means uh, when I was young, when I was Chain like this. Uh, these two sentences you can use when you communicate with others. Okay. Small is small means we talk about size of the something. Okay. Don't use this when you are uh, as per language point of view. Grammatical point of view correct, but language point of view don't use it. Thank you.